and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm here today with our brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at Audacity, and we're basically going to be giving you a tutorial on how to sound more professional in your recordings. Whenever you're recording a piece of audio for anything really, even if it's for something as YouTube, just if you're using Audacity to record commentary for a piece of video for YouTube, you want to sound presentable, you want to sound professional, you don't want to have long pauses in your in your audio clip where it just sounds awkward. You don't want to have constantly someone saying um or uh or you know those filler words. You want to sound presentable, you want to have good speaking skills. And Audacity makes it very easy to edit your audio clip to take out filler words or to actually shorten the silences that are very long. Now I have a pre-recorded piece of audio clip right here and we're gonna go ahead and take a listen to this audio clip and you're gonna you're gonna see it sounds very awkward we have long pauses in here we have a couple ums and uhs in there and we're gonna be turning this you know into a much more professional sounding clip now obviously you're gonna hear it's a bunch of jargon and it just I'm just randomly saying a bunch of stuff but you'll see that it'll actually sound a little better when we don't have these long pauses or long silences in it or when we have all these ums or uhs in it now this method is great for if you're recording you know your professor if you're audio recording your professor giving a lecture and you know he sometimes he has his very long pauses and you know the the audio clip is very long if you want to shorten that clip, maybe you can use this method that I'm going to be showing you called the truncate silence method to actually shorten the clip, make it much more efficient to listen through the clip. So not only is this great to efficiently listen through long clips, but it's also good to make yourself sound a little more professional when you're recording in Audacity. Let's go ahead and listen to this right now. Now that we've gotten all the background out and you know what this video is going to be about, let's listen to this. And hello, we are here for the next podcast. Um, the um, the next podcast will be just the way it's supposed to be, and it's kind of random. I'm just saying a bunch of random stuff. The first thing on our script is going to be the third roll call of the day, and we are here to call it upon us that none of us can be this way now I'm just randomly putting words together because I want this to sound somewhat natural but yeah it's pretty much it so there was the recording actually and what we're gonna be doing now is first teaching you how to get rid of filler words or how to get rid of the ums or the uhs. So how do we do that? Well, you can listen to the whole clip and I already know that there's going to be one right around this area. Next podcast. Um, so one technique that you can do is whenever you see a filler word, whenever you see an um or an uh, just zoom into the waveform a little bit and you'll start to recognize the shape of the filler word. We see that this is a filler word right here. This is the this is the um so we can go ahead and just highlight it and then press the backspace key and it will automatically erase it and it'll act like that part was never in your clip you won't see any gaps in your clip it'll just be the clip will basically condense itself after you've deleted it and it'll be like you never recorded that and you can use this technique for all the patterns that you see if you see another waveform that looks like an um you can just highlight it listen to it and delete it and that saves a lot of time you don't have to listen to the whole track if you can identify the waveform now I think here we have another one oops let's move this way I think here we have another one the um yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and delete this as well we don't want to have this awkward the um so delete that and as you can see it's almost as if it's basically as if we've never recorded it so this is one way of basically deleting things from your recording that you don't want that sounds unprofessional or you can delete these filler words so now that we have that out of the way the next step that we want to do is get rid of these long silences we have a huge silence here we have a huge silence here we have a huge silence here there 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 near the end too now if you wanted to you could just 
you could just take your selection tool and just highlight them all and then press delete and then go over here and highlight them all and press delete and you can go over here and highlight them all and press delete you know you could do that but when you have a very long clip like your professor's lectures or you know a video commentary then you don't want to be going through the entire clip and finding the silences and deleting them one by one you also want it to be consistent you don't want to have one silence that is just you know somewhat slightly longer than the other ones you want to be consistent to make your voice sound more presentable and more professional so what audacity offers is a truncate silence method now before we go into this method let me just uh, mention that i highly recommend especially if you have a microphone that records buzzing or that records background noise or that records static i highly recommend that you use the noise removal or noise reduction effect first to take out any of those background noises. When you take out the background noise, Audacity will have a much easier time in recognizing the silences. Otherwise, you're going to run into some problems. I do have a video on my channel that basically shows you how to use the noise reduction effect. So there should be a link in the description. There should also be a annotation on the screen right now and also an e-card on the top right corner. So check that video out to learn about that effect and then you can come back here if you already know how to use the effect then great we're gonna, we can go right ahead now this is only if you have a microphone that does have these problems of recording buzzing or background sounds if you don't have that problem with your microphone then you don't even need to do that so once you have your silences are very recognizable if they're recognizable to you they'll be recognizable to audacity so what you want to do is press Control a then go down to effect and go to truncate silence which is right here now for those of you wondering I'm running audacity 2.1.0 I do get that asked a lot in my audacity tutorial what version I'm running and I'm running 2.1.0 now you're gonna get this pop-up window and what you want to do is for this first box you want to click the first option which is truncate selected silence now from here on you'll have three boxes here that you can choose uh, detected so not selected detected silence sorry about that couldn't read there. Truncate detected silence. Now, this levels box will basically tell Audacity, okay, everything that is at this level, negative 40 dB, we are going to recognize as a silence. Generally speaking, you can keep this value at default. You can keep it at negative 40. However, if you end up doing this effect and you see that your silences did not go away, you may have to lower this value, going negative 30 or going ne negative 40 you can also do that but generally speaking you want to stay at negative 40 unless you have to go lower going higher is a bad idea so don't go higher so don't go yeah don't go like negative 55 and actually we're actually going lower here because it's negatives but you know what I mean don't go to like above don't go to negative 50 negative 60 negative 80 if anything, stay at negative 40, you'll go to negative 30 or negative 20. I wouldn't, between negative 20 and negative 40 should be okay. But you should be fine at negative 40. Now duration, what this means is that Audacity will recognize the silence that needs to be shortened by this value. All silences that are 0 0.3 seconds or longer will be truncated, which means they'll be shortened. So whatever value you put in here in the duration, this will mean all silences that are 0 0.3 seconds or longer are going to be affected by the effect. This next box here, which is truncate 2, that means all the silences that were detected by the duration box up here are going to be truncated to this specific time. So if you have a silence that is 1 second long, it's going to be truncated to 0 0.3 seconds. If you have a silence that is 0 0.8 seconds long, it's going to be truncated to 0 0.3 seconds. So this is basically just giving audacity a parameter of everything above this value needs to be truncated and this is telling audacity this is what i want it to be truncated to generally speaking you want to keep this the same number however you can make this number a little lower than this one if you'd like this basically just means though that you're going to be limiting some of your silences so i would highly recommend you keep these numbers the same I, this is obviously up to your preference if you want to have silences that are 0.5 seconds only or you want to have silences that are a second only or you want to have silences that are a quarter of a second only you can do that but we're going to use 0 
Now before we actually put this event this effect onto the clip, I want to show you guys something. Uh, as we notice, this clip right here is a good 50 seconds long. You're going to notice that this clip is going to drastically change in length after we apply this effect. So we're going to go control A again, effect, truncate silence, and we're going to put 0 0.3, 0 0.3, click OK. And as you can see, now our track is down to just over 30 seconds. So we went from 50 seconds to just over 30 seconds. And if we listen to it now, we won't hear these awkward long silences anymore, and we also won't hear the ums. It'll still sound kind of awkward because I'm, I'm just rambling, saying random stuff. But um, you'll see that it actually you know, doesn't sound you know, as long or as awkward anymore. Let's take a listen. And hello, we are here for the next podcast. The next podcast will be just the way it's supposed to be. And it's kind of random. I'm just saying a bunch of random stuff. The first thing on our script is going to be the third roll call of the day. And we are here to call it upon us that none of us can be this way. Now I'm just randomly putting words together because I want this to sound somewhat natural. But yeah, it's pretty much it. So as we can see, we still have like some spots are still awkwardly long and silent so you could go ahead and truncate it again to maybe a quarter of a second to make it sound more natural it's all up to you it's all up to your preference but i'm hoping you understand the mechanics behind the effect i'm here just to show you how to use the effect a lot of it is up to your preference hopefully you enjoyed the video that's pretty much it for this tutorial i have plenty of other tutorials not only on audacity but i have other tutorials on photoshop gimp design programs video making video editing premiere pro after effects movie maker plenty of other stuff to help you guys out. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I'll, I'll try and answer any question you have. If you have a huge question about Audacity, it doesn't have to be about this method, but if you have a huge question about Audacity, like how to do something, I may even make a video for you. It depends on you know how in-depth your question is. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.